What, what, what's this guy no, doing? No, no, what's, no, what's no, he doing? It's nothing. I've been sure. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Sure, sure. <laughs> Oh, could be trouble ahead. No, Hobby supermarket no, armor yeah, models. Hey guys, it's the bear here. I am in Moscow. We are at armor models.ru. This is a um, website magazine as well that you can order from on the internet. Uh, you're going to see some stuff that's coming in from them quite shortly. But today we'll be going around the shop and I'll show you inside, show you everything they have here. A uh, really fantastic shop in Moscow. Uh, you're going to be surprised actually how much these guys have. Uh, so let's get on with the tour. Okay, here's the opening part. They've just got one area here that, um, like, they might have some sort of showcase model on display, like new release. And in this case, it's the brand new Sherman from Zvezda. And then some other, I think they've got some deals on this, the new uh, MI24, the 48 scale one. So just some sort of like new kits. And now they've got a range of tools from uh, Jass models. They're like, um, you know, like very inexpensive tools for modeling, you know, like the usual, like a really cheap sort of Chinese set of tweezers and bits. But they do everything. And some of this stuff is really good. And then you've also got diamond file collection as well. There's more tools inside here for rotary tools, knife sets, and you're going to find throughout the shop, you're going to see resin uh, aftermarket stuff basically everywhere. So uh, let's continue in, like outside here, we've got some, um, these are these solution boxes from Ammo of Meg. Uh, there's some resin model kits on display here. This is one that I really wanted from Alex Models. Sadly, it's just on demonstration, but oh gosh, maybe we can get it later on. We just need to wait. There's Pablo. He's trying to control himself. <laughs> too late, mate. <laughs> too late. <laughs> too late. We've already we've already been broken since we've been. But of course, uh, uh, Pablo, my good friend, he lives here, of course, in Moscow. So he just he's basically broke. He spends all his money on model kits. He's actually homeless in a sleeping bag, surrounded by his kit stash. But uh, yeah. that's what happens when you're in Moscow. Yeah. Welcome to my house because actually I try to live here. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. We just hang around the shop all day, like when it gets cold and stuff. <laughs> so here's the usual uh, Tamiya range. Tam Is it Tamiya or Tamiya? Because everybody keeps on like pulling me up on that one. Let's call it the big T. The big T. Yeah, white boxes, right? Yeah, white boxes. White boxes and colorful stuff. So all your usual stuff. And then over here, you're going to get some like aftermarket. There's quick boost, aero bonus, fury models, whoever they are. Mini arm, well-known Russian aftermarket. Never heard of a Calibri. Don't know who they are. V models. We've never heard of them also. Hornet heads are here. Hornet heads and hands. They've got like stuff that's just a little bit difficult to find. Um, a very small selection of live resin here, but I'll show you their more fullish set later on. Now here's some paint brushes and tapes and more and more modeling tools. All your uh, big T uh, stuff, all their usual sandpapers. They've basically got everything. There's some Edward uh, photo etch. They've got brass in here. They've got like a lot of stuff and you can spend a lot of time here as we do basically looking around the shop so i'll try to do this basically most of the kits are set out by manufacturer so there isn't one area airplanes it's just like one manufacturer in one area so we'll start off with the icm stuff which is um like we've got the latest stuff from icm which is obviously you've seen my chernobyl stuff um they've got the the latest releases from them i'll show you one of them right now they've got the uh they call them the rubble cleaners the, the, the robots the guys that had to clean off the roof on chernobyl that's a brand new kit uh right and then also they've got the aircraft here from icm a lot of the heinkels a lot of the bombers 148 scale sort of stuff so really you're spoiled for choice there's all the figure sets there from ICM. 
this is quite a new manufacturer armor hobby um, these have got quite a good reviews that I've seen on other channels so they've got them there as well and there's a few other bits and pieces dotted around um, more aircraft 72 scale there's figures so you really can spend a lot of time looking around here okay next part I think we'll do is yeah this shelf here Rodin uh, they've got all their aircraft um, different uh, different things but um, master box all their figure selection here you know what I was hoping maybe we might see some of those World War one aircraft from uh, wing not wings but I have not seen them so they're sold out I never know if they did they ever sell wing not wings here I think they were out of business. Yeah, they're out of business, but they never did. They actually sell them in this shop before. No, I never seen. Never them. seen them. No, we haven't seen them here. So more and more stuff there. There's some railway type stuff here. There's books. More aftermarket here from Aber. Um, like if you're really into sort of the photo etch, this is the place to come. There's a lot of stuff here. There's all boxes here. These are uh, Karob uh, like boxes um, Karobka for display purposes i don't even know what these are oh these are like um wooden um desk tidy sets you know organizers more display cases compressors everything for your airbrush all your cutting mats so uh, there's no shortage of supplies here we we'll do it quickly this is trumpeteer section uh armor on one side and to note they've got a lot of the like the big boy kits you know, like the like the big model kits that they do, the uh, air defense systems, that um, firefighting vehicle, oh, lots and lots of stuff. Um, and then also, you will see a couple on this side. We have trumpeteer aircraft. Again, like the bigger ones, the 32 scale stuff, including the intruder. You've got Kitty Hawk range here, which is basically aircraft. That's all they Kitty Hawk only really do aircraft. And they've got some of the bigger kits as well. They've got the MH60s, uh, which obviously are very, you know, a very popular kit that they brought out. Um, they've also got the, the Night Stalker, uh, Little Bird. And I think this is the one. Some of the, one kit has resin figures, one doesn't. I'm not too sure which one that one is. Okay, let's go through to this section. There's some magazines and stuff okay so this is cars and the main make here of course we've got big t and we've got uh Ayoshima, the uh, japanese manufacturer quite a big range of cars and motorbikes at the end here we've got some ships from big t this manufacturer is called avd they produce in the unusual 143 scale they're a Russian uh, manufacturer. Very nicely detailed kits with metal chassis and plastic parts. Um, yeah, they're a really nice range, but why don't they do 35th? I would be much happier, but the, the 43 scale is something that's quite popular here. And they have so, so many as well. I mean, there's such a great range of civilian vehicles, you know, like these old classic uh, Soviet style buses, even this looks quite interesting this forklift uh really really extensive selection over here we've got some of the master club metal tracks uh voyager aftermarket accessories uh mir modili it looks like some decal sets so there's some stuff down there now let me go to this shelf now and uh, make sure I don't get too confused. Ah, right, okay, here's the 172 T54. I didn't realize that was out. On this side, um, we've got uh, more armor kits. Uh, well, actually, no, let's start down here. We've got the Hasegawa aircraft. Um, quite a good range, N not the biggest range, but 72 48. And their cars as well, so you need to look around a bit uh, inside here. They've got like even that excavator. Uh, different things there. This is Hobby Boss, some aircraft, some ships, and then they've got armor 
kits running all the way up here. At the top, they've got that huge 1-200 scale battleship from Trumpeteer. More aircraft, more armor, more vehicles on this side. Like a huge range, really. And also on this side, let's start here. Uh, Tiger models. Another 1-200 scale kit. No, 1350 scale aircraft carrier at the top there. And then we've got Panda Hobbies. And this is the start of the TACOM range here. And fortunately here, they've got quite a few of the TACOM kits that have gone out of production are available. So this is quite a good thing. Like the Chieftains are no longer made, uh, are currently out of production with, with uh, TACOM. They might come back later on. So you can actually get them here. You can order them as well. Don't, I'll show you the link to their website. So if you're really, you know, absolutely desperate for a Chieftain 4 or 5 or a Mark II, you could probably order it from here and get it delivered to whichever country you're in. It might cost a bit for postage, I'm not too sure. Uh, up here as well, we've got Rye Field models and Tiger models. Uh, and then again, some more Tacom in the middle. Uh, this is Thunder models down here. Like a really pretty good, solid range of kits here. Really nice. They've got some of the um, cartoon type kits as well. Now, of course, we're in Russia, so we're going to see lots and lots of Zvezda. So the entire range of Zvezda is here. And, um, I mean, that brand is getting stronger and stronger, as you're going to see pretty soon in one of my new videos. But... Um, basically i'm going to sort of zip around i can get zvezda anywhere here in russia i'm getting really good prices for it so let me try and get a good example for you like um well actually i think i should show you how much that sherman costs here compared to what you may pay in uh, europe or america just out of price comparison uh, point of view but uh, i'm not to gloat about it but obviously the you, you get an excellent deal on a lot of these kits like, uh, well, I bought this um, IS-2. It's 850 rubles. We're talking about $8 here, basically, for this kit. $8 for a 135th scale kit. Not the best one that they have, but it just shows you what you can get. Uh, a lot of the aircraft kits over here. These are, um, well, I'm not really totally familiar, but they, they look like resin ship kits, to be honest. I'm not too sure. In the middle here, you've got like a range of cars and um, different, from different manufacturers. It's sort of like civilian type subjects in here, different, different bits and pieces. More Zvezda, okay, here's a good example then. So this one's the Mustang, the, the um, Kamaz truck. Uh, the price on the box is 2,000. 300 rubles that's about let's just say 23 dollars maybe a bit more maybe about 27 dollars i'll get the exact conversions up i'll try and explain all that stuff later on give you some price guides but really you can get an amazing sort of deals with zvezda kits and zvezda are getting uh they really are improving their kits they are really getting enjoyable There's, you won't be disappointed okay now let's go down this like slightly it's a little bit cramped down here. Let me see if I can get in from the other side. Yeah, it's probably easier down here. So, did I do this or not? I can't actually remember. No, I didn't. Okay, right. So, here's Meng. There's the Meng Jumbo. And they've got loads of them in. It's a bit expensive, this kit. Has to be said. But the price here is 6,200 rubles. Okay, so that's equating to about $70. So, that is an expensive kit. <laughs> like throughout the world and I do want it as well uh, got loads of Ravel aircraft up there more and more the Meng full selection of Meng really like nearly all their releases are here including some of the earlier stuff on this side we've got Dragon at the top is 172 scale Dragon then we've got the uh, 135th scale like artillery pieces figures bits and pieces dragon as well it's expensive brand uh but 
I think they're an excellent manufacturer, really. I mean, there's the, the Yag Panther. Let's just home in, how much is that? That's 4,600 rubles. So you're talking about uh, nearly like about $50 for that Yag Panther. Maybe not that bad, really. A few more down here. I think Dragon will remain popular, especially for like, I was hoping to see some more of their 38T vehicles, which I think are like one of the best kits they've ever brought out so just another quick glimpse at that shelf that um, had the um, sort of civilian stuff we've got airfix inside here extensive range of 172 uh, 148 scale aircraft and even the big hawker typhoon and it's priced at 10,700 rubles so let's just call that like $115 basically for that kit. So, but it's a big kit, I mean, let's face it. More and more, there's more Dragon armor, including the notorious black label um, things that basically sort of is killing that brand at the moment. Why don't you go back to your good stuff? But here they've got an excellent kit. One of the best Abrams you'll ever get is from Dragon. The only problem is it's got those D, the DS plastic tracks in, that rubberized um, material, very poor which um, makes it, uh, they, they need to be replaced. But um, I've, I've built that kit before, I love it. The, the M1A2, M1A1, really, really good kit. Of course, you're gonna get your Tigers and Shermans, all that stuff is here. Their aircraft range is at the bottom, as is their ships. Just go back to Airfix a little bit. I don't see many much, they've got like the, the newest stuff, like the Mustang and stuff like that. And let's continue down. There's going to be lots and lots of Zvezda. I mean, really, just there's rows and rows and rows of it. And Zvezda also do like 172, like war gaming type stuff, 1 to 100. Uh, classic manufacturers, Italeri are here as well. Great prices on some of these kits, and they're not that bad, actually. We're going to be investigating that. So that's 1,875 rubles. So you're talking about... Maybe about $23 for that. There's Sherman there's uh, 2200 uh, So maybe again $26, $26 for the M4 from Italeri. Some of the more like older Italeri um, figure sets are here. And yeah, I mean, some people do want them. You know, I mean, they do have their uses. They are still wanted. There's their MT uh, kit. There's their Abrams quite a good extensive range of Italeri here actually and their aircraft and then we've got the airfix range of armor which actually are academy kits reboxed but um, they're all here and they're big quantities as well so you can see them all you just quickly go down here now you can really spend a lot of time here basically uh, because the range here is absolutely massive. Now this is probably gonna interest you a bit more because some of the brands you may or may not be familiar with, Eastern Express are here, like obviously a Russian brand or I think maybe Ukrainian. Um, they're a little bit dated, but again, you can get such good prices. Like let's take it for example, a this is like about $7 for a kit so seven dollars really for a kit maybe you just want to you know i mean you're not, you're not going to bust the bank um when you get some of these kits this is akan uh paint range uh russian um, manufacturer of paints um they're meant to be pretty good for their aircraft colors but i'm not 100 percent sure uh here we have i'm not eastern express aircraft uh pretty big selection actually civilian and military aircraft okay now we're coming across to uh mini art the ukrainian manufacturer they've got a big range of the t55 some of them with interior some of them without i was hoping to get one particular one they didn't have it so i might have to order it off the website Another big range. I don't know. Let's see what the prices are like here. Let's check out one that we know is pretty good. Okay, so these are uh, 3,500 rubles. 
So we're talking about like $40, so pretty average sort of price, yeah. Pretty good price, to be honest. Here's the bulldozer here. This one, again, is, I think it's 3,500. So again, same sort of price for the bulldozer. They've got all the figure sets over here. All the accessory sets. Like lots and lots of nice stuff, figures. Some more aircraft jotted in amongst the from uh, models VIT, which I, I don't know some of these manufacturers, I have to admit. Right at the bottom here is Skiff. Skiff, this notorious um, sort of manufacturer, but back in the day, there wasn't anybody else making Russian ar armor subjects until Trumpeteer came along, and that was where you had to get you know like t64s and stuff like that they were the only people who who made them so over here we've got uh this is like modelist i don't know which exactly which company they are but again a lot of aircraft tanks so a lot of stuff that you might have not seen there here so you, you can really you have to spend a lot of time in this shop um here's arc models they got aircraft and armor. At the back here, there's more like tools. And there's some like odds and sods here at the back as well. Some, in you know, just so much different stuff here, really. That big Chanel boat from Italy. There's me. Okay, now here's um, Great Wall Hobby with quite a, quite a good range of aircraft. Some of their armor kits. There's Kinetic here. There's even like, um, yeah, Vulcan models, that light tank. That's been out of production for quite a while. Sabre models. I think that's Merit, which is Trumpeteer, basically, with their torpedo boat. We've got the flank. Of course, the flanker has to be popular here. Um, with the Great War Hobbies one. A lot of kinetic aircraft. And even some HK model stuff. I was thinking that we might see the B-17 and stuff, but I haven't seen the B-17, B-25, but that would have been an interesting comparison. But I'll, I'll send you a link anyways to the website. There's that tank transporter from Merit. Okay, let's um, continue. What I'll do is I'll just come back to you in the second part. I'm gonna show you the other sort of side of the shop now because this unit's pretty big, but there's there's more outside here. So let's just take a break and just come back with the second part. Okay, when we come outside here, you're gonna see like display cases, and there's lots and lots of resin um, figures, fantasy, medieval stuff, even uh, Mikhail Kalashnikov resin figure 124. How cool is that? This is. Um, live resin i'll just pause here just for the music hold on we're back on so i'll just show you some of the live resin sets here pretty good range some interesting stuff there isn't that pretty cool i really wanted the quad bike but i i haven't seen that quad bike and i know it's expensive i would have liked to get it this is a range of paints i don't know which i think it's i can again pretty small little bottles that's the back of the shop that we've already been in They've got some toys as well for children. Now here's um, again selections of like resin figures, and these are most of the resin kits aftermarket selection here. They've got the uh, mini arm sets. I I've used these extensively. Aftermarket wheels and resin. This I've never, I haven't heard this manufacturer, Fury models, but it's all add-ons for Sherman, some figures, mini arm wheel sets. Death model, like small range. This is Alex model, and there again is that kit. I, w I wanted to get one, but I haven't got the one with the 20 millimeter cannon. Black Dog aftermarket stuff you can look around here and you're gonna see so much stuff it really toy soldier selection here
yeah give yourself a couple of hours i mean we're going to get on to a 30 minute video here just on one shop um let me show you some of the built models on display here they're, they're pretty nice actually I'll just show you some of these really quite nice models this is the um, 143 scale a the one from AVD model uh, it's a really nice kit I mean the, the modelers here of course in Russia they're really you know I mean like everywhere in the world you've got really skilled modelers and there's some really nice uh, vehicles here T15 Terminator um, T90 MS there's the boomerang, Merkava. Nice weathering. That looks cool. We don't know what that is, but it looks amazing. Some really, really nice kits. 72 as well. Look down here, U552 submarine. Of course, uh, some Verti Lots, uh, helicopters. Actually, this is the uh, other part of the shop now. This is where the really big kits are again, the big battleships, the 1 16th scale Abrams. Pablo's going to buy me the Trumpeteer 116th Abrams. I, I'm really <laughs> surprised and pleased, but he's such a nice guy. They have got some big kits. They've got the compressors here, um, all the cutting mats. There's more and more stuff like the, let's have a look. Mol Molotov markers are here. The MIG streaking brushes, uh, the shaders, the weathering pencils, all that stuff. There's even they have the upgrades, yeah. more upgrade sets. We don't even know what these are for. They're just it's, it says MIG twenty nine. No, each time you buy a kit here, I think they give you extras. Yeah, they develop their own extras. Yep, and I'm getting some that come with the kit I've ordered. Yeah, they have wheels there. Yep. There they are. There's some wheels for pants. For pants, pants mm -hmm. Look, they are good as well. They are not like crap, are they? They're really good. Jeez. So they make their own. So armor models make their own set. They've got the magazines here as well, and even, is this, uh, oh, they've got like uh, Abtai Long Book, Weathering Special. In Russian, of course. Right? Yeah, 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 most of them would be in Russian. I don't, yeah, they've got the Russian edition, Weathering Magazines. Not English, but, um, yeah, really great selection of books. More cements, more glues, more big kits like just it's just like a never-ending shop fantastic really fantastic shop okay now let's go inside this is basically all your paints and stuff is inside here so i'm just going to tell you quickly You've got like meng mig vallejo humbrel they do their own range of paints which is they are really good paints i have to say i'm not just saying it because i'm here but they gave me a free paint within the fire engine. I used it. It was excellent. Now, can you remember the really big tins of Humbrol? They're here. You've got the really big old Humbrol tins. All the Mr. Hobby, uh, Mr. Color spray paints, Humbrol spray paints are here. There's MIG, there's oil paints, there's Ravel, there's Tamaya Lacquer, there's MIG washes. All the Tamiya spray cans, including the AS aircraft range, the Humbrol spray cans, Vallejo stuff, more Vallejo, um, the lacquer thinner stuff, Wilder, Tamiya primers, just like uh, varnishes. One shot primer, ammo of MIG, like the steps, the Mr. Color things, all the Mr. Color paints are here. They're all here, Mr. Cement, their primers, and, and also their um, weathering washes are here as well. So basically, here, here's um, ammo MIG, streaking, like washes, enamels, pigments acrylic paints the whole Ravel paint range is here as well uh, absolutely amazing like there's no shortage of anything here really uh, well I'm gonna go back to Pablo now I'm gonna buy some stuff obviously 
I hope you've enjoyed my little tour of Spasibo uh, Bolshoi. <laughs> like a really fantastic model shop. I can't wait to come back to Moscow. Why have you only got one box, Pablo? Come back. <laughs> so, okay, this is Bear. I'll see you in the next video, okay?